Since there's always a good chance they're going to end up as food for something nasty, insects have managed to develop some pretty crazy defenses over the years. Some bite, some sting, and others, well, others just smell like absolute garbage. But here's a question. Which kind of insect is the most venomous on Earth? Well, to answer this question, we have to find the insect which delivers the most venom through a bite or sting. It's also important to clarify the standard by which you can measure toxicity, which in this case is the LD50 value, the standard for median lethal doses. This means lethal dose 50%, or how much venom would it take to kill half of all similar test subjects? This is an objective standard separate from the amount of pain or discomfort caused, just a pound-for-pound -pound gauge of toxicity. With that in mind, which insect comes out on top? Turns out, it's the harvester ant. According to the University of Florida's Book of Insect Records, these ants have the most toxic venom based on the LD50 value required to kill a rodent – 0.12 mg per kilogram. Compare this to the far less toxic 2.8 mg per kilogram for a honeybee sting. Science educator Anne-Marie Helmstein, PhD, puts that in perspective, saying it would take about three Maricopa harvester ant stings to kill a one-pound rat. Considering these ants essentially bite down and pivot, stinging continuously, this could happen quite rapidly. Obviously, humans are a different species and weigh far more. If the ants were stinging a 150-pound human, you'd be looking at roughly 450 stings to reach a lethal level. <laughs> Nonetheless, one sting can still cause actual humans to suffer severe pain for up to four hours thanks to the alkaloid poisons contained within the ant's venom. So how do we know this? The University of Florida cites a first-hand account that makes harvester bites sound a little less than pleasant. It reads, Several ants stung me on the wrist, and after a few minutes an intense, fiery pain began in this area which was about two inches in diameter. The area became hot and feverish, and the excruciating pain lasted all day and up into the night. No, don't like that. To make matters worse, the alkaloid poison releases an alarm pheromone, which acts as a signal for any fellow ants nearby, so one ant can quickly become hundreds. And if you're incapacitated and surrounded by a horde of enraged ants, you could very quickly be looking at a life-or-death situation. Of course, harvester ants share similar toxic qualities to honeybees meaning they may also trigger a potentially fatal allergic reaction with a single bite. But before you go freaking out about this, it's important to note that most harvester ant species are not considered to be aggressive. The University of Florida says that some species almost have to be forced to sting someone, and that fire ants are generally more likely to get a bee in their bonnet than harvesters. Both honeybees and fire ants cause far more deaths per year while the UF report noted only one death from harvester ants, an Oklahoma infant in 1990. So really, there's not a lot to worry about with harvester ants. They're easily avoidable so long as you can walk and won't bother you if you don't bother them. Better yet, of the 22 harvester ant species, there's only one that lives east of the Mississippi River, the Florida harvester ant. All others hang loose on the west coast, including the most venomous Maricopa, which is most commonly found in Arizona. It's also been spotted in California, Colorado, New Mexico, Nevada, Texas, and Utah, and in some parts of Mexico. So while the Maricopa harvester ant is objectively the most toxic, venomous insect in the world, it's definitely not the most dangerous to humans. That honor is held by those bloody mosquitoes, which the BBC reports is responsible for about 725,000 deaths a year due to the diseases they spread through their bites. So don't feel too bad about swatting them whenever you can find them. Check out one of our newest videos right here, plus even more grunge videos about your favorite stuff are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.